you should first of all never put kids on unbroke horses or green horses. I feel like that that should just be like good parenting. Hey bitch and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different. This is a video I've wanted to make for a while and I think it's really important, but first things first, yes, the background does look like total crap. It's because I'm moving, as most of you guys know, I'm moving up to the Pacific Northwest, up to Washington State, and we're actually doing that on the 14th. So by the way, subscribe to my Patreon if you wanna watch the video. And we're picking up our new hamster on the way up. So yeah, subscribe to my Patreon or YouTube members if you wanna see that. But just letting you know, that's why the background kind of looks like trash. Today's video. <laughs> All right, you go. Ow, 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 I've gotta get off. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I'm hurting. Where are you hurting? Ow, no. on my leg. Ow. Okay, you move back. Ow. You move back. You got a leg cramp. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a little bit of a reaction video, but also an analysis of children who are equestrians, children in the equestrian world, because this is something I find really disturbing. Before we get into today's video, I obviously wanna say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Atlas VPN. Oh my God, another favorite sponsor of mine. I've worked with Atlas so many times and I wanna thank them first of all for sponsoring yet another video. If you're unfamiliar, Atlas VPN is developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers. It's also created to make internet accessible and secure for everyone. They have more than 6 million users worldwide and are available on Google Play and the App Store. Atlas VPN truly is not only the best VPN available Available, but it also is the most affordable VPN available. Not only can you stream privately and watch all your content without worrying about tracking or censorship, but you can save money while shopping online and get the best deals with subscription services, airlines, hotels, etc. This has been so useful for me. As you guys know, I've been traveling so much because I'm getting ready for the move and we're getting everything settled up in Washington. And I can't even tell you how much money this has saved me. You can also enjoy really fast internet speeds and protect unlimited devices. And we all know it's November and Black Friday is coming up. So you guys can steal your Black Friday deal with Atlas VPN. You can now get Atlas VPN Premium for just $1.70 per month plus an additional six months with a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's the best Atlas VPN offer of the year, so be quick and get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. It's a limited-time offer, but let's get to it. But if you scream, he gets worse. Yeah, the more you scream, the worse he's gonna please, get. Please, please. Right. Mama. Another, another round. Mama. Another round. This is bad. I watched one minute of this and I want to make a whole analysis of this and I want us to talk about children who are equestrians because I really feel like a lot of kids who are equestrians are placed in a really dangerous situation by their parents. So this video is called Child Breaking a Horse. I'm not gonna link to it. If you really wanna do your due diligence, you can find this video somewhere on YouTube. The reason I'm not linking to it is because it's a child involved in this video and I don't blame the kid one bit for this. I actually am making this video to talk about how bad a lot of equestrian parents are. Sweetheart. So right out of the gate, <laughs> these parents don't have a safety vest on their kid. They don't have a helmet on their kid and they're putting her on an unbroke pony. This girl is obviously 
not capable of breaking in a horse. And again, we're not going to go over why breaking is such an outdated term and people who say breaking in a horse don't know what they're talking about and definitely don't know anything about starting horses. But these parents are idiots. They're putting their kids' life and, and safety and health at, at serious risk. A pony can do significant damage, especially to a child. You should, first of all, never put kids on unbroke horses or green horses. I feel like that that should just be, like, good parenting. People die riding horses. I, I think people fail to realize this. A lot of people die riding horses. It's dangerous. Children die riding horses. It's dangerous. <laughs> Women at the gate. Oh. It's okay. Rubbing on me. Huh? You waited too long. All right, now. Come on. Good night. I'm right here. Pull me off, right? Yep. Sweetheart, you need to ride him out. I'm serious. Such terrible parenting. This little girl knows that she's going to get hurt. What do you expect her to do? You think she's going to get on this horse and ride like a Grand Prix rider? You think this little girl has the training to be able to handle an unbroke horse? No. And even she knows that. These are terrible parents, dude. And they're putting their kid in a serious life-threatening situation. It's not not life-threatening just because it's a pony. I've seen kids break their ribs and break their necks riding ponies. I've seen ponies flip over and land on children, breaking their pelvises, causing severe internal bleeding. It happens. Kids get seriously hurt on horses, and you should never pressure anyone to get on a horse if they don't want to. But we'll control it. Come on. I'll try my best to control him, but you need to ride him out as much as you can. We can do it. He's getting impatient sitting here. Come on. Be even more Bro, they're guilt tripping her. Imagine guilt tripping your child into putting herself in a dangerous situation. Good girl. Come on. Take your glasses. Get your, get your reins. Saddled. You need to settle down. That's where he's getting his fear from. Dude, I'm a full grown adult. I've trained my fair share of green and unbroke horses and and you will not you will not see me sitting on a green or unbroke horse anymore. You know why? Because I don't care that I'm 23. I feel old as fuck and I don't want to get on a horse and get hurt. Are you kidding? Those days are over, man. That was my 16 to like 21 years. Now I'm like, give me the laziest possible horse because I literally want to sit on them and do nothing. I just want to have a chill ride. And that is with a lot of experience. Imagine being a child that has no experience at all. She sure as shit doesn't want to get on a horse that has no training. She's probably hesitant to get on a horse that's fully broke. How about, instead of being bad parents, you actually teach your kid how to be responsible and ride horses and develop her balance and equitation on a fully trained horse first. She's so scared, dude. It's a recipe for disaster. This is almost child abuse. I'm sorry, am I the only one who thinks this? <laughs> Hold on, dude. Dude, can we just imagine? Imagine if this horse threw her off and she broke her neck and she died. These parents would be saying that this horse is dangerous and scary. No, there's nothing wrong with this horse. You're putting green and green together, which makes black and blue, as the saying says. The sad part is that these people, if their daughter was ever seriously injured, would blame the horse and have the horse killed because they'd say that the horse was dangerous and scary when they're just bad parents. Not to mention that I think, you know, not to state the obvious, but she's too big for the pony anyway. Listen to me. He just might buck two listen. more times and that's gonna be That's gonna be two about it. Times and that's it. No. You hey, do it. did you come off? No, but I, I'm fixing to. No, you're not. No, you're not. Get me off. No, ma'am. Mama. Stay. I can't. Come on. I can't. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Good girl. Good I'm girl. sorry. Stop it. You're gonna make him answer. You're gonna make him throw you is what you're gonna do. 
This is how you teach a child to be fearful of horses. I can't tell you guys how many kids I, I've worked with when I used to be a lesson instructor whose parents would literally yell at them for being scared. There's nothing wrong with being scared of a massive 1,200 pound animal. He's fine. He's fine. Good girl. You're doing good. Good girl. You're doing really Mama. good. Mama! Good girl. Pull back on them rings. Good there girl. Good girl. You might have just broke him right there. I think you did. I think you just got him. These people are the dumbest people I've ever heard. You might have just broke him right there. What? She's been on the horse for two goddamn seconds. You think that horse is started? No. Training a horse from start to finish when when they're considered fully broke by these idiots terms takes years <laughs> all right you got you got ow, 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 i've got to get off no you don't Good yes girl. i do no, you i'm don't. hurting where are you hurting ow, no. on my leg he just slammed her in the face did anybody else see that if you've been riding horses for any period of time, you would know how much it hurts to be slammed in the face by the back of the horse's neck or their pole. It fucking hurts, dude. I had my horse bust my lip one time when I was out on a trail ride and I think I filmed the video on it. Also, it doesn't matter if she's actually hurt or not. You're, this is so wrong on so many levels. Like, I understand not coddling your children. And, and giving your kids tough love from time to time, right? But this is not the way to go about it. I mean, this is borderline child abuse. A and it's borderline child abuse because this girl can get seriously hurt. <laughs> You're doing wonderful, You are. Yeah! You are. You're doing real good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hey. You're showing him Whoa. your boss. Whoa! <laughs> Yank him. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good no. girl. You just, you just done good. Mama told you stopped him. Mama. You stopped him right me. there. Go. Mama, you promised me. You're doing good. You're doing such a wonderful Mommy, You don't want to stop now, do you? Mommy, Mommy, you do you do you do you do stop now do you? Yes, she does want to stop. She's been telling you guys this the whole fucking time. This is the equivalent of putting your kid on, let's say, a dirt bike, like a, a motorcycle dirt bike, that they have no clue how to handle, how to ride, and you put them on that dirt bike without a helmet, without padding, and then you just say, bye-bye, go have fun, and the child's nervous because they don't even know how to drive it, and then they get nervous, they get the speed wobbles, and they fall off and they fucking break their neck or some shit. No one would think that those parents were responsible. They'd be like, why did you put your kid on a dirt bike that they don't know how to use, that's way too advanced for their skill level? Why wouldn't you put the proper padding on your, your, your child? Why wouldn't you put a helmet on them? Why did you force them to get on it when they were already nervous about driving it in the first place? You know what I mean? It's literal negligence and you're not even training this horse anyway. So there's, they're not accomplishing anything here. Cheyenne, you're doing amazing. Whoa, whoa. Ah! <laughs> See, this is not horse training. This isn't breaking in a horse. This isn't starting a horse. This isn't getting a horse to accept weight. This horse isn't learning anything from this. And the child is only learning to be afraid of the horse and that her parents are dicks. He's done. Cheyenne, do you feel him? Hey, hey. go play a little bit. He's a stud, sweetheart. Right, uh Oh my god, it's a fucking stud, too. They put this little girl on a stud. Dude, I thought it was a gelding this whole time. This this adds to the level of, of, of parental neglect. E even I don't work with studs, okay? We've got one stud horse at our barn, and, and I'll hang out with him. I'm friendly with him and stuff, but, I mean, you're not going to catch me working with a stud or riding a stud. And it's not because I think that they're particularly dangerous. It's just studs require a lot of extra attention and you've got to be a little bit more careful when you're working with them and more attentive. They're not as forgiving as a gelding or a mare would be when you're riding. I definitely would never say that studs are safe for children to ride. Put your hands down! Mama! Daddy! 
Daddy. Pull, pull Relax. Back him and make him stop. Make him stop. Hands down. Don't pull him up. He's yours. I did. He's not done. You didn't train him, and all you did was traumatize your daughter. I think this video is a prime example of how equestrian parents really need to be better and they need to be more attentive to their children. Because this is not the first time that I've seen parents in the equestrian world treat their kids this way. Hint, hint, wink, wink. You guys know who I'm talking about. And I think it's really important that people recognize that children should not be forced into dangerous sketchy situations where their personal safety is at risk especially with the amount of head injuries and trauma injuries that occur every year to children who ride horses you know the reason this is so important to talk about is because i think a lot of equestrians because they're in the equine world they tend to push or force their children into it as well. I saw a lot of kids like that when I was a lesson instructor and it's a lot bigger of an issue than people tend to realize. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And again, a massive thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.